Then, around April 2015, Planet X should cross the ecliptic plane for a second time. And again, Earth should be placed on opposite side of solar system. And finally, in autumn 2015, last event, which is for sure worth to be mentioned. PX, Earth and Sun alignment. At this time PX should be already above the ecliptic plane. And here should start the year 2016, if we will survive. But now we are here. I've got something for all who will say that the magnetopause reversal in 2012 was just an error in data. Those readings are made by Timis satellites, all five of them. Look here. There are three satellites orbiting Earth. Look at their readings. All three of them recorded some kind of wave at the same time. Density of ions jumped rapidly while their temperature dropped. But look what recorded at the same time satellites which orbit the moon.
graph in the middle shows the velocities in all dimensions. X seems to be affected mostly, while the one on bottom shows pressure. Whatever happened on 13 of March 2012, it was recorded by all five Timis satellites. Hello, today I will begin with the magnetic polarity of the Sun. As you probably can see, the heliosphere and its direction of current flow is right now seriously screwed up. The colors of current sheet represent the polarities. Blue is the positive flow. Field lines are directed out from the sun. And red is the negative. Field lines are di directed towards the sun. Notice that while positive field is open widely to the IMF, negative field lines are closed and force something similar to plasma pimples on the sun's surface. Of course those who saw my previous movie, where I explained the heliospheric current flows, should know already that it is caused by the influence of low energy field. Because the field is charged neg negatively towards the entire sun, it is causing the outflow of positively charged particles. However, electromagnetic laws allow it to connect its own field lines only to the outward directed current. As minus will always connect itself to the plus. While two field lines with negative current flow will repel each other. This force is pushing the plasma back to the surface and forms those ugly red bubbles. On the second image we can see nicely that the positive field lines are indeed much stronger. It looks that on the magnetic maps created by Gong, the situation is slightly different. According to those readings, negative pole returned again to the north and positive polarity remains on the equator. But now, let's check how the shift of the solar magnetic field affected the sunspot configuration. As you can see, those two sunspot groups have opposite directions of current flow, as they are placed on both sides of equator. If Sun would be a magnetic dipole, such configuration should be visible along the entire equator. But let's look at different sunspots.
just a short glance and it is visible that the direction of current flows in the departing sunspot groups is completely chaotic and tends to point into the wrong direction. Those three sunspot groups have the same direction of current flow, even if they are placed on both hemispheres. While this group didn't decide yet what should be their magnetic alignment. Here the current flows are again opposing each other. and for the end, region which gave birth to the last X-class flares. In this case, the strongest differential is placed perpendicular to the rest sunspot groups. It looks that the electromagnetic field of sun is still highly unstable. <laughs> 